very nice place um, for you to shop and wander. Safe country, fine country, fine city. So we are at Gardens by the Bay in Singapore. Sadly, we don't have much time to like check out everything, but wow. This is gorgeous. They have such beautiful buildings. Singapore is already just fascinating me. Actually, the entire trip I've just been so fascinated by everything. It's so organized and so clean, and it's so beautiful and green. Oh God, it's like, why do I live in Kenya? Why? Anyway, so we're here for a very short time, about 10 minutes, because we were kind of late and we have to go for dinner. But I'll try to come here a bit later and just get some pictures, because I'm not even ready like for Instagram pictures. <laughs> We've literally been traveling the whole time, so yeah. There's some people here. Hi. This is beautiful. Gardens by the bay. Let's see. It kind of sucks that we just have 10 minutes. It's just so <laughs> not fair. I wish I was here for longer, but oh well. I just like I can't even deal this city doesn't look real I just we took a walk during the day but we were so late so we decided to come back in the evening and just actually just take in the city take a few pictures obviously it's dark right now so we can't do that much but yeah man I love this place like so these guys were telling us about um, how the city is organized first of all they pay like 30% tax and all their taxes goes back to them so it goes into funds um, it goes into housing it goes into medical and it goes into like um, just other things pension that was it so they really don't have any corruption they have point zero point zero zero point two five percent um, unemployment rate which means like basically no one is um, unemployed and the government in case you're unemployed the government just basically pays for your training and gets you like gets you like training and supports your family for six months and from there you're supposed to take care of yourself so it's crazy it's such a beautiful place it's organized like mad the systems are in place like oh my gosh I just I feel so bad when I think about my own country and I'm like, oh, yeah, we're so far from. <laughs> anyway, so that's that. That's Sam in the background is taking pictures. But yeah, we're just about to go even have dinner, maybe chill. Just taking the city and it's beautiful, beautiful. I knew that Singapore was like a very, very beautiful city, but I didn't expect this at all. The architecture especially, yeah. But yeah, let me take you guys around and you can see.
but right behind me, over there, is the Universal Studios ball thing that's good. So we're gonna be spending the entire day here, like, um, from, I think right now it's about like 9 o'clock, from 9 o'clock to like 6 p.m. <laughs> so there's so many rides we're gonna try out. I'm so sorry that it's noisy, there's like so many Indians here. Apparently in Singapore there's like 10% Indian population and Chinese and the rest are like Malaysian. So like a mix of everything so yeah anyway as I was saying Universal Studios I think the entrance fee is about 75 USD so that's about 8,000 shillings which is quite expensive but if you're spending the whole day here then I think it's worth it so yeah there's so much to try I can already see like cable cars across the island so oh yeah this place is at a place called um, Sentosa Island so it's an island off actually the main island Singapore but yeah it's pretty cool I think it's so beautiful so yeah today's gonna be packed with action packed with like lots of crazy crazy rides which I don't even think I'm ready for <laughs> I really don't think I'm ready for them but yeah that's gonna be so much fun so let's go So far we've done three rides. So the first ride is the Transformer ride, which is pretty cool. I liked it. Then there was, um, it's, it's 3D, like it's not, it's a roller coaster with 3D like tunnels and stuff like that. Then we did this other one called um, Galactic, I think. I'm not sure what it was called, yeah. But that one was really scary. Like that's the scariest one we've done so far. Then now we're about to do one called Human. We've done the Mummy. There's so much to do here. Yeah. So like it's crazy. Like I don't even know where we're gonna go next. Yeah. How can we, have, you pick? we have like six more hours, so that means like, hey, it's gonna be a yeah. great day. Yeah. Hi guys. It's 
6 a.m. right now. We're heading out to the airport. So there's a new section of the airport in Singapore that has been going crazy on the internet. I think it just opened about maybe two weeks ago that I definitely want to check out. So we're leaving a bit early just so that we can like um, get footage of the place. I really hope we can. Um, if not, then it's all cool. We're heading out to Bali. So that's exciting. I'm so excited for that. Like I've been waiting for Bali like the whole trip. If you do like that one destination you feel like is your main destination. Even if we've had so much fun in all these other destinations, like Bali is just life. So yeah, I'm really excited to go there. Our flight is at midnight, midday. Yeah, so our flight is at midday, but yeah, we should be there by maybe seven or eight or no, we should be there by eight o'clock, I think, at the airport. So yeah, hopefully we can get to check out that new section and chill out, maybe do some editing. I have so much footage. You guys by now have seen like all these three vlogs have been sick, yeah. So there's a lot of work to do. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed Singapore vlog either way. Definitely catch you at the airport and yeah, hopefully with the footage. So I'll definitely catch you guys at the airport, but for now let me just get to the bus before I get left and see you guys. Hey, so we actually made it to the airport at, in like 20 minutes. Our hotel wasn't so far. But if you can see right behind me is the jewel. The newest tourist, tourist, okay, it's not really a tourist attraction, but the newest attraction in the Singaporean airport. So let's check out how it looks. I've already had a glimpse and it looks so good. <laughs> being breathtaking for days like I'm just I'm in shock I just want to know like which which country which city can match up to Singapore in terms of development and in terms of just the way they're so organized and clean and I mean look at this airport what the heck <laughs> I want to know in the comment section below tell me which one city or country can actually come close to this and come even just a little bit close I'd, I'd like to know just let me know in the comment section below anyway so I'm just gonna walk around the airport now, just check out um, everything I can check out, maybe do some shopping, but everything looks pretty expensive, so I don't know, I don't know yet if I can, if I can do any shopping here, but yeah, after that we're just gonna go check in, put our bags in and head over to Bali, so I guess that's it for this vlog, I hope you guys enjoyed that vlog, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, of course, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, look up for the next ba the next vlog will be in Bali and this is like my favorite destination so Bali here we come